Bar here with Eric Sanchez, who has a big fight coming up next week at Combate Americas. Eric, welcome to the show. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And thanks to our viewers for watching the Must Love MMA show. Eric, let's get right into this. This is a big fight for you. Tell me, what are your thoughts going into this fight? Uh, just like, you know, every other fight, it's a big fight. It's an important fight, you know, and uh, put the same amount of work or more and, uh, you know, be ready to do whatever I can to get that W. What's the game plan for this fight then? Uh, you know, just the game plans, you know, my, you know, what I'm good at is being aggressive and, uh, showing my dominance in there. Um, uh, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever, wherever it goes, you know, take it, take the, take the win. Your opponent has a two inch height advantage over you, according to the stats. Does that change anything up for you when preparing for the fight? Uh, no, not really. Every time, uh, every time I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting ready for a fight, I like to, uh, just, you know, train to fight. Doesn't matter, you know, how tall, how short. Uh, it doesn't change. But my last couple of points, they've been, they've been, you know, over six feet tall. So, so it don't make a difference. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. What's it like to train at Team Alpha Male? Train out here. It's a, uh, it's it's a privilege. You know, yeah. just being surrounded by by uh, just all the all all the, all the you know all these role models and. You know, just a bunch of you know hardworking individuals, and and it's a, it's just a privilege to be able to you know share the mat with with these guys. Now, I have some video from your last fight with Mike Segura, so let's talk a little bit about that. Can you break it down for us? Well, yeah, just going. You know, I uh, I figured you know he was tall. Uh, my, you know, it, my plan was just to get get inside and you know keep it standing, but as I think uh, a couple seconds to the fight. You know, I kind of with a with a hook, dropped them, and uh, I wanted you know I wanted to finish a TKO, but I didn't you know I'm gonna be smart you know take that take the one way test. So if, I, if I'm not mistaken, we got into a little scramble. Uh, I tried to lock up a guillotine choke, he rolled mm -hmm. out of it, and uh, we got back to our feet. I took his back, and then uh, just locked in the the uh, rear naked choke, and yeah, that was it. It was an awesome fight. Congratulations on your win. Thank you so much. You, I know you have your fight next week, but have you thought about who might be your next fight after this fight? <clears throat> yeah, um, you know, hopefully I can, I can, uh, we can, we can uh, fight for a title after this. Maybe you know, uh, there's no, there's nobody holding the title right now at the moment, a featherweight division for Combate. So, uh, so yeah, that that would be a. A, a, a great opportunity to, uh, you know, I was says Andres is he's a tough opponent and and it's it's gonna be a good fight. And I feel like it's it's uh, we should you know I should get a title shot after that. How important is it for Latin American viewers to understand the concept behind Combate Americas? I know Campbell has put a lot of effort into it, and I applaud him for it. But I also think it's important for people to understand that it, American viewers can watch it as well. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's, uh, I feel like it's just really for, for everyone, you know, um, it, it's not, it's not just Latin fighters. There's, there's a lot of more, uh, you know, a lot of more, uh, races, you know, races in there, but, uh, yeah, I feel like it, it's good for, if you want a real, you know, a real, real fight, real, you know, not too, people getting like willing to throw, you know, throw down and throw hands, then, then, you know, you should, uh, you should definitely watch these for sure okay. anything else you want to add before we go today uh i just want to say you know uh in spanish for my for my latin viewers uh like a todos mis este, fans hispanos a mi familia en mexico leon guanajuato mexico este me va a estar apoyando en febrero 16 este y esta y esta victoria va para ellos okay all right and must love mma fans you can catch combate america's 11 February 16th at the Burbank Event Center. It's televised live on both Azteca America, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, and UFC Fight Pass, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Eric, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Y buena suerte en su lucha. Muchas gracias. Thank you.